Hi everyone. So in the previous lecture, uh, we started analyzing the SR latch. Okay. So uh, we are done with the case S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1. We have seen that Q is equal to 0 and Q bar is equal to 1. That case has already been analyzed. Now let us go to the next case that is S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. Let us try and analyze that. Okay. So the case that I am going to do now is s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so let us see what is going to happen okay so here we have s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 mm, if you remember uh, we have summarized the behavior of a two input nor gate as something like this if at least one of the inputs to the nor gate is high the output is low here we can see one of the inputs to the nor gate n2 is high s is high so the output of this nor gate is 0 now this 0 will appear as one of the inputs to the nor gate n1 here and the other input to the nor gate n1 r is already made 0 okay because s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 okay now we know that 0 nor 0 will give me 1 from the truth table of the nor gate okay so when s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 what is the output that we are getting we are getting q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 okay that was our prior understanding too we have seen that setting something means making the output high okay so here i told the sr latch uh, to make its output high by putting the s input as 1 s is equal to 1 okay see the output q has been made high so when s is equal to 1 the output q is high and of course the um, q bar is complement of q which is equal to 0 okay so we have successfully analyzed the second case as well okay so when s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 q and q bar turned out to be 1 0 respectively okay now let us go to the third case in the third case we will start with the case s is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 okay so uh, let me select this okay let me select the diagram oops once again okay so so the case that we are going to discuss now is s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 so what is going to happen here so r is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 okay so from the summary that we gave of uh, the truth table of nor gate if at least one of the inputs is high the output is low so here one of the inputs to the nor gate n1 is high okay so this output is low okay so here also one of the inputs to the nor gate is high so this output is also low okay so what is happening here when s is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 q is 0 and q bar is also 0 but something is off here isn't it so if we label two things as q and q bar we expect them to be complements of each other that is if q is 0 q bar is 1 and vice versa so there is something seemingly wrong here or rather something is very wrong here okay so let us keep it in one corner of our minds let us revisit this case okay so when s is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 we have observed that q and q bar both turned out to be sorry q and q bar both turned out to be zeros which uh, is of course uh, doesn't fit our understanding of complements okay so let me rather uh, put it in red so that uh, we know that something is fishy and we'll come back revisit this case and we'll uh, draw some other conclusions okay now we are left with the case uh, 0 0 1 s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 what is going to happen okay now let me take another copy of this uh, logic diagram okay so now the case that i'm going to discuss is when s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 so what should q be and what should q bar be so that is the question over here okay so now let us uh, put the values over here let us plug the values over here so my s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 okay so here again if i know that if at least one of the inputs to the nor gate is high the output is low okay so here to this nor gate n1 one of the inputs is zero i don't know about the other input okay to this n2 
one of the inputs is zero that is s is equal to zero okay i don't know about the other input okay so if at least one of the inputs is high i can predict the output of this uh, nor gates n1 and n2 but uh, uh, i know s and r are both equal to zero but without the knowledge of at least one of the outputs i cannot predict the behavior of this circuit okay so i need more information okay i need more information so uh, we'll tackle it in this way okay so i know that q is a boolean variable okay so and a boolean variable can have two values okay so of course q can take value of 0 and q can take value of 1 okay so in this case of s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 we have two sub cases okay so the first sub case is i'll assume s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and i'm also assuming q to be equal to 0 i'll do an analysis get some answers for this case and the next sub case is s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1 so these are the two sub cases that i need to analyze to get an understanding of what is happening for s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 okay right so i'll go ahead with the first uh, uh, assumption that is s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and the assumption is q is equal to 0 okay so this q is equal to 0 would appear here this q is equal to 0 would appear here so 0 nor 0 will give me 1 this one would appear as one of the inputs to the nor gate n1 and we know that if one of the inputs to a nor gate is high the output is low okay so uh, so this would be 0 okay right so how do we understand this how do we understand this in this sub case in this sub case we are making an assumption that q is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 so that means the output has been reset the output is reset isn't it because making an output 0 is nothing but uh, resetting okay and we know that in the sr latch the output is reset when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 okay so the very fact that you are assuming q to be equal to 0 means previously before the inputs s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 have been applied the set of inputs that were applied to this sr latch were s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 okay so that is what this assumption means isn't it okay so the previous set of inputs that have been applied to this uh, nor latch uh, the sr latch are nothing but s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 so that means reset so that is uh, that is where uh, uh, the output has been reset that is where q became 0 okay right so what is happening here so because of this input case s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 okay the output q turned out to be 0 now immediately after that we applied the inputs as s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 so even then the output q turned out to be 0 okay so that is whatever is the value that has been attained by q uh, by the previous set of inputs what are the previous set of inputs here s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 what is the value obtained by the previous set of inputs uh, equal to 0 okay even after making s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 the q value did not change it maintained the same value it maintained the same value because these two outputs are the same okay right so the first sub case is done s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 we have seen that q continues to be 0 okay of course q bar is equal to also equal to 1 okay so in the next case in the next sub case we have s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and we have q we assume q equal to 1 okay so this one would appear here we know that if at least one of the inputs is high the output is low so the output of n2 becomes low this zero would appear here and zero nor zero would give me one again okay so what is happening in this sub case when s is equal to zero r is equal to zero and q is equal to one we got the same the q value is maintained to be one and q bar to be zero okay so how do we understand this okay so we made s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and we also made an assumption that q is equal to 1 
okay so q is equal to 1 means the output has been set so how do we set an output in an sr latch with the case s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 only if this set of inputs has occurred previously the output would have been reset in an sr latch because this set of inputs has already occurred in that sr latch s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 my output uh, q became 1 okay now i am applying s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 the q value is still maintained the q value did not change okay so the same value is being maintained okay so if you see if you see in both the cases s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 okay so whatever is the previous value of q if the previous value of q is 0 even after applying s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 q is remaining 0 okay if the previous value of q is 1 because of whatever inputs okay uh, even after applying the inputs s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 q is maintaining that value q is maintaining that value that is for s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 the q is nothing but its previous value okay so what is happening here is nothing but for s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 q is nothing but q previous q previous and q previous complement okay so whatever is the value that q has attained previously if it, if it was at 0 previously even after applying 0 0 it will stay 0 okay if q was 1 previously even after changing the inputs to 0 0 it will still maintain that value okay right so this is the summary of uh, uh, the sr latch we have analyzed all the cases for s is equal to 0 0 sr equal to 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay and uh, we'll understand the sr latch further in the upcoming video